If you're rocking a fuel cell on your ride, you got to check out Holly's fuel cell pump modules. They're a straight up bolt on solution, making fuel delivery to your engine a breeze. Holly's got you covered with single and twin pump modules that can handle over 2000 horsepower. Today we'll show you how to choose the correct Holly fuel cell pump module for your ride. The main factors to consider when selecting the right module are fitment and flow. The fuel cell pump module needs to install properly to your fuel cell and provide enough volume to meet your horsepower needs. Selecting the right Holly fuel pump module starts with whether you have a 6, 10, or 12 bolt flange. Holly offers fuel cell modules in all three bolt patterns. Secondly, we'll focus on flow. Choosing the right flow rate for your Holly fuel pump module is crucial for optimal performance. Here's how to correctly size them for your application. Consider your engine's fuel demand. If you have a high performance engine that requires a significant amount of fuel, selecting the correct pump flow rate is essential. Holly offers fuel pump modules in 255, 340, 450, and 644 liters per hour. These flow rates are more than enough to cover most applications, but should you need even more fuel, we also offer dual pump versions of our 255, 450, and 644 liters per hour modules. These are for maximum effort applications where fuel flow is critical to performance. Let's go over some key points that'll help you choose the right fuel pump for your ride. Fuel pumps are sized by flow rate, which is typically measured by gallons per hour or liters per hour. To calculate minimum flow rate, you multiply your horsepower by BSFC or brake specific fuel consumption. BSFC tells you how much fuel your engine will use per hour for every horsepower it makes in pounds per hour. This graph shows us some general BSFC values. This is the formula we'll use to calculate our flow rate. For example, a naturally aspirated 500 horsepower engine has a BSFC of about 0.5. Multiply 500 by 0.5, that gives us 250 pounds per hour. We would use 250 pounds of fuel per hour. To get gallons per hour, divide pounds per hour by 6 since a gallon of fuel weighs 6 pounds. This would net us 41.67 gallons per hour. Let's break down the fuel consumption for our engine. Now to keep it real, we have to factor in some extra fuel, about 15%, to cover the pressure needs of the system. So when we crunch the numbers, multiplying 41.67 gallons per hour by 1.15, we land at a solid 47.9 gallons per hour. We'll round that off to 48 gallons per hour. That's our flow rate right there. Now that we know our flow rate, we need to know the operating fuel pressure. Carburetors typically require between 2 and 9 PSI, while EFI applications may use 40 to 60 PSI. Armed with these two numbers, we can now choose the appropriate pump. Remember that pressure and volume are inversely proportional on electric pumps. As fuel pressure increases, flow rate drops off. Therefore, an EFI engine will require a higher capacity pump than a carbureted engine. The amount of fuel consumed by both engines is the same, but since the EFI engine requires higher pressure, the flow rate will decrease. You need to make sure that the fuel pump you select can flow an adequate amount of fuel for your engine at the required operating pressure. Also keep in mind that forced induction applications will require a higher fuel flow to achieve similar horsepower compared to a naturally aspirated combination. The max system pressure numbers, which is your base pressure plus your boost pressure, are important numbers to look at. Holly's website has fuel curve charts showing the flow rates for each of our fuel pumps at various pressure readings. Use these to select the appropriate fuel pump for your application. These numbers are at the outlet of the pump. For fuel supply tailored to meet precise demand, Holly's twin pump modules can easily be staged with an MSD solid state relay triggered by an output from your Holly EFI or even a simple manifold pressure switch. It's always a good idea to consider a pump with extra capacity to match for any future upgrades. Holly's fuel cell modules come equipped with filter socks that help keep contaminants out of the pump. Make sure to take into account your supply and return fuel line sizes. A good rule of thumb is to match the fuel line size to the outlet size of the fuel pump so your system does not restrict flow. Incorrect line sizing can reduce system efficiency and cause overall system flow and supported power to be lower. 
As always, you'll need to be using a post filter. We recommend a 10 micron filter after the pump as close to the injectors or fuel rails as possible. Holly offers a vast array of filters for any of your fuel needs. Thanks for watching. For more information on our fuel delivery products, visit our website at holly.com.